yeah, another one. This is a bit late, um, from when I actually made it, but, yeah, this is the next one in the weakness lineup. Um, it's kind of inspired by the candy panic level from Magnail 2, in that it's food-based, but it has Mega Man 1 assets. I'm being so clumsy. There we are. Anyways, you get screw bomb uh screw crusher from this, not screw bomber. Screw bomber is an enemy. Anyways, these little guys look like candies, so that's why I put them in here. And the background looks like lollipops. You're supposed to be shrunken down for this stage. Which is why there was a room before that isn't really what the stage looks like. And over there, there's a question mark tank. <sighs> if you're really precise, you can get it from over here. But there's also a way to slide over here to shoot the upper parts, but you have to use the quick boomerang, which is a reference to this one's weakness, being ruthlessness. I'm not really sure why, And then here's a butterscotch cake. And Crystal Joe. And obviously, why not? It's because they try to eat you. These things also look like candies. At least to me. <sighs> Crystal Joes are here because crystals look like can- I mean, looks- not candy, uh, they look like sugar molecules. Not molecules. <sighs> sugar, when you zoom in, basically. This room has the most difficult wine shell pattern, in my opinion. This music was also chosen because it kind of reminds me of the enemy shooting patterns. Like that. You need silly for a little bit of health. The background is kind of supposed to remind you of chocolate. <laughs> I don't know why. And then teleport back to the lab area where we fight Shade Man or Glutch and Eat Of course, the Mega Buster is viable here ish. I still have trouble dodging the swoops. Which 
which is a shame, because aesthetically, he's one of my favorite Robot Masters. But yeah, that's... that stage. I suppose I can also do another one. And according to my paper here, the next one in the lineup would probably be... the... Quick Man one. Which would be Ruthless. Sadistic Fortress. Hooray. It's not actually sadistic, it's not... It's not the most brutal level I've ever made. But it can still be a bit of pain. Basically, I just took the elements that I can think of that would be most fitting in a sadistic fortress. And of course, since I don't have a charge shot, these things take three hits. supposed to be a hint to its weakness being pride or flash bomb well obviously it's flash bomb but whatever and I also have a few Mega Man X style rooms in here where it's just a large room without any screen transitions vertically or horizontally Here's the second gimmick, the tech -unes. Oh, third, really. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. First step. In this stage, I mean. Of course, it will be a tool lift platform. This is just embarrassing. Yep, embarrassing.
I don't know if I can make the jump without the lift platforms, but I'm afraid that if I don't, then I'll fall onto them and then they'll crush me. Or I can just do that. Oh no. This room used to be way harder, but I moved some things around. This middle one is safe. Oh, nope, I mean this one. Not the middle one. That bat needs to be taken out while you're in there. And these... Oh. oh. For a second I thought I was going to slide right into the pit. And I... I did not do well with that. Thank goodness for this checkpoint. I know I don't need it, but for luck. As I said, Flash Bomb's weakness, and of course, Quick Man's the boss, because sadistic. Uh, and he's Quick Man, alright. Which is why I, I put the health energy in here. Even though, yep, I'll still need to use E tank. Sure. I also made Quick Man weak the Mega Buster, but only two times. I'm going to consider that a victory. Because I used my only E-Tank, and he's Quick Man. Good night.